Hey everyone, this is Joanna from Portable Collections. In today's video, I want to show you how to create dripping effect painting with some negative black space and also how to save your painting when the paint doesn't want to flow the way you want it and doesn't cooperate with you. So if I got your attention and you want to see how I created this painting, just keep on watching. For this pour, I will be reusing this 11 by 14 inches canvas by Artist Loft. This is a gallery wrapped style. I used that canvas a couple days ago, but I ended up disliking the final result, so I scraped off all the paint while it was still completely wet, and then I wiped it down with some wet wipes. I'm starting off by pouring my base, which is Artist's Loved Black, mixed with some flow troll and water. This time I didn't use any tools to spread the paint, but I just simply started tilting the canvas. As you can see by its consistency, the paint isn't too thick, so that helps to spread it quickly and evenly covering entire space. The premix colors that I'll be using today are Greenish Blue by Amsterdam, Olive Green Light also by Amsterdam, then I have Old Gold by Artist Loft, Gold or Oro by Liquidex Basics, Parchment by Artist Loft, and then the last one is Metallic Ice Blue by Deco Art. After torching all the bubbles out, I started to layer my cup in a pretty random order and since that canvas wasn't too big, I just filled up the cup to about 70% of its volume. Now when the cup is nicely layered and ready, I'm doing a ring pour into my amazing shovel. I seriously love it so much and it's one of my favorite tools to use for my pourings. I bought it from Amazon and if it's still available, I will try to link it down below. I like to pour the paint on the top part of the canvas, moving my hand slowly from one end to the other. You want to make sure that you get a nice even layer of paint. As you can see, I missed some parts and then I went back to cover those empty spaces. For that reason, I think that it's good to start pouring your paint just before the edge of your canvas starts. That way you can get an even strip of paint. This next step is all about tilting the canvas and moving the paint around to your liking. To achieve the drip effect, you almost want to flip the canvas to the upright position and get that paint dripping. But what if the paint doesn't really cooperate and you're not satisfied with the result? Well, no worries, I will show you how to fix it.
so when I've reached the point where I like how my top part looks like but I want my drips to be bigger and have a little different shape, all I'm doing is just gently blowing paint through a straw to make it look the way I want. If I need to, I take more black or sometimes colorful paint on a wooden stick or whatever tool I have nearby and I apply it to the canvas and then blow again. At the end, when I'm done with the main surface, I do all the touch-ups and remove the extra paint from the bottom of the canvas. And that's all! I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and like. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. See you in the next one!